what's going on? Hope y'all are having a dope ass day today. It's your boy Alex and I am back today with another reaction video for some more Molly Crew. Once I started, bro, I can't fucking stop. It's like having chips at a Mexican joint in front of you. They bring you chips and salsa, you either gotta have them all or you can't have any. There's no, let's eat two to three chips. You gotta eat them all. I started with Molly Crew. I'm two chips deep and I just can't stop. Bear with me. Today we're gonna be reacting to Shout at the Devil. <laughs> Love Motley Crue. I saw the movie The Dirt before I heard any of these songs, so I guess maybe I have heard some of these songs. But nonetheless, that's the song we're checking out today, so let's get it, man. Link to the original video will be down below in the description. Y'all make sure to check it out if you want to. Hope you guys are having a good time. Hope y'all are just filled with that good energy, that positive energy. And if you're not, escape from reality for five to ten minutes. Let me be your positive energy and go forth with your day harboring that positivity, okay? So let's get it, man. Link to the original video. I already fing said that. Jesus. Let's get it, man. <laughs> Nostalgic for some weird reason, but this was on fucking Guitar Hero as well, man. Dude, back in the day when I could shred on them colors, boy. Oh my god, that brings back some memories, man. That brings back some fucking memories, dude. Let's go. <laughs> It makes me want to be born in another era. Just listening to this song, I'm like, fuck, man, I missed out. And nothing that I could have dictated or had control over. It's just, you know, it is what it is. But sweet lord. <laughs> Talk about just an iconic sound of a song, just a pillar of a fucking rock band. God damn it, that's awesome, dude. Dude! <laughs> now, something interesting that I had to research to find out is, dude, check this out. At the time they wrote this song, Nikki Six was exploring Satanism at the time, and he wanted to call the song and the album Shout With The Devil. Zoo taught 
whoever the fuck that is, that's probably mispronounced, whatever, was having a hard enough time getting the label to promote the band, and he knew the title would make it an even harder sell, but Six was determined to go with the devil theme, telling Zua, it just looks cool, it's meaningless symbols and shit, I'm just doing this to piss people off, it's not like I worship Satan or something. When Zutat saw Six two nights later, he witnessed a knife and a fork rise off the table and stick into the ceiling. Zutat writes, I looked at Nikki and freaked out, there is no more shout with the devil. If you keep shouting with the devil, you're going to get killed. I truly believe that Nikki had unknowingly tapped into something evil, something more dangerous than he could control that was on the verge of seriously hurting him. Now, Nikki must have realized the same thing because he decided on his own to change the album title to Shout at the Devil. Dude. That is fucking scary. Iconic song nonetheless, just one that fills you with energy and makes you just want to climb a tree, climb a fucking, a fucking coconut tree. <laughs> I need to go before everybody unsubscribes. Okay, with that being said, that's where you guys come in. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this song. Let's this video in general. That is all I got for you today. So keep smiling, keep being yourself. Don't let anybody throw shade at you. I will see you guys tomorrow. That's a motherfucking fact though. Yeah, love y'all. Peace. Hey. Either way it goes, I was born to be a screw up. Do the wrong thing and I'm gonna fuck you up. Okay, crew, got my back like pull up. Sipping on the liquor, but it goes straight through us. Squad full of killers and a swag like Jewish. You got a squad full of